This week for Lesson 4, you're going to be finishing up your This I Believe paper, as well as working on some other elements of writing. So uh, let's get to looking at what you're going to be working on. Uh, in terms of your assignment due dates, um, should look pretty familiar to what you're already used to. So I'll try not to, you know, bother you to death with, um, you know, going over every tiny detail. But I do want to point out that the rough draft of your This I Believe paper is going to be due Wednesday. And then, of course, you're going to take three copies of that to your pathway gathering to try to get um, some last minute feedback on your um, to help you revise. And then your final draft is going to be due on Saturday. So again, just like with your love letter, make sure when you turn in your final draft that it's uploaded as a Word document. Um, so as a file, as opposed to cutting and pasting it into the comments box. So please make sure you do that correct the first time so we don't uh, have any slowdowns in getting uh, my grades back to you. Everything else should look pretty uh, familiar, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Your grammar this week is going to cover um, the second portion of commas. Last week you worked on the first part, and I think there was a lot more uh, that you had to cover as compared to this week. So this week's a little lighter in the comma rules that you're be, you'll, that you will be covering. There we go. Um, so hopefully everything makes sense to you. If not, don't hesitate to ask and I'll try to clarify them for you. And then of course you need to complete your grammar exercise once you cover the, the written material as well as the video. Your readings this week are, uh, really nice actually because you get to select the readings that you want to read and work with for your discussion board. So you're going to be reading um, some student examples of this I believe papers but again you get to choose them. Um, the assignments page provides a link for you to go to kind of a, a compiling site that has a number of essays for you to read and you just pick a few out that look interesting to you. Then for your discussion board I believe you're only going to work with one, uh, but when you write your initial post for the discussion board, you're specifically looking at the effective techniques that the author in the um, essay that you choose uh, and how you can apply those techniques to your own essay. So that's extremely important. Reading um, samples and examples and just really anything, reading is a huge huge part of writing. So when you read those essays, be sure to look at them for how they're effective and then model them. There's nothing wrong with looking at a paper and going, oh, they did this in this first paragraph. I can do that. And then their second paragraph, they do this. I can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. that that's not cheating. So long as you're not taking their work word for word, you're simply modeling effective writing behavior. So Really keep that in mind as you select the essays that you want to work with for the discussion board because you want them to be beneficial to you. And one more time, it is totally okay to model effective writing techniques that you see in somebody else's work. Um, again, so long as you're not taking their ideas and stuff, it's totally fine to model what they're doing with your own ideas. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Um, but again, reading is a huge part of writing, and the more you read and the more you read examples of what you're being asked to do, the more successful you'll be when you actually go to write yourself. All right, your writing lessons this week talk about purpose, uh, genre, and audience. I always think that purpose and audience are very much related. They both determine what kind of information you provide. So for example, if you have an audience that is educated on whatever it is you're talking about. You don't have to go into such minute detail. You can speak at a more elevated level so that you know, you're not giving all the basics but are just getting into whatever it is you're writing. On the other hand, if your audience is unaware of what you're writing about, you do have to be more specific and you have to uh, be more aware of your writing and your descriptions and the details that you give because you have to be extremely clear to them. So. Your audience very much determines the way you write, as does your purpose. What is your purpose? Are you trying to persuade someone? Are you simply trying to inform someone? Um, and then, of course, that someone leads back to your audience. So you form your purpose based on who you're writing for and what you are trying to accomplish in your writing. 
So this is very, very important information, and be sure to take a look at the additional resources here as well on purpose and audience. They are extremely important, and you need to be cognizant of, of those two elements as you write every paper. Here is your writing assignment. Of course, you're just finishing up your rough draft for Wednesday and your final draft for Saturday. So for those details, you can, of course, click on those links. For your pathway gathering, make sure you take three copies of your rough draft so that you can get um, one final, final form of feedback uh, to help you revise. And then, as always, if you ever need to um, ask me for additional feedback, I'm more than willing to, to do that for you. Just You just have to ask and email me your paper. Um, of course, do your speaking partner uh, work, fill out that report, and then fill out your attendance and weekly report like normal. So I can't reiterate enough that um, this course is very much patterned, so hopefully everything's making sense. Hopefully you're feeling comfortable and great with this course. I hope you're having fun with it. That is always um, a good thing with learning. I don't think learning always has to be fun, nor um, do I think you should always look for it to be fun, but it should at least be enjoyable. You should be able to, to look at these writing assignments and have them become a part of you and to really um, to put yourself into them. Because without that, if you're, if you're bored and annoyed and frustrated, it's going to come out in your writing. So try to have you know, a really positive attitude when you approach these assignments. Uh, and I promise that you'll be able to retain more of that information that you're learning and your writing will be much better because of it. So um, I hope you have a great week. If you need anything, let me know and uh, just keep me posted on how you're doing.